Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Several businesses in downtown Yankton were closed after a fire. The Yankton Fire Department says crews were called to the 100 block of West 3rd Street at 8 o'clock Thursday morning. Firefighters arriving on scene found smoke inside a historic building. Officials say the fire started in a first floor apartment. After an investigation, it's believed that a dog who had a habit of jumping on the stove may have hit the dial to turn on the burners. No one was hurt. This is the first fire in downtown Yankton that the department has responded to since 1991. A St. Francis man is headed to federal prison for murder. A judge sentenced 23-year-old Isaiah Young to 40 years behind bars on Thursday. It's a case we've been following for more than a year. Early in the morning on January 24, 2021, Young climbed through a window to get into a home. He claims he was planning to steal a TV or DVD player. Instead, he attacked two people with a hammer and a knife. One of the victims, Vinal Nightshield, died of her injuries. A cousin spoke with Kelly News following her death because she wants people to remember Nightshield for her kindness. I don't want them to see her just as another Native American woman that passed away violently. I want people to know that she cared about a lot of people. If you needed something, she was willing to give it to you. Um, always just helping whomever. Nightshield was a mother of one and a grandmother of three. She was also a member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe. Yesterday, a Sioux Falls man appeared at the Minnehaha County Courthouse to be sentenced for a 2020 rape charge. According to court documents, 46-year-old Robert Stefani had multiple sexual encounters with a teenage girl. Those meetings were arranged by Melanie Hollingsworth of Sioux Falls. Stefani would pay the victim cash in exchange for sex, and the victim would give the money to Hollingsworth. Stefani has pleaded guilty to rape in state court and also to sex trafficking in federal court. Because the federal sentencing is yet to happen, the state court issued a suspended sentence on the rape charge. Hollingsworth was sentenced to more than 17 years in federal prison earlier this year. One of the two Texas men charged in a historic cocaine bust in Sioux Falls is headed to federal prison. A judge has sentenced 30-year-old Isaias Santos Escamilla to 10 years behind bars for dealing drugs. He pleaded guilty in April. Last October, authorities pulled over Santos Escamilla and another man near 12th Street and Kiwanis Avenue in Sioux Falls. Inside their car, they found 62 pounds of cocaine and a gun. Turning to weather now with meteorologist Scott Munn. How long is this heat and humidity going to stick around, Scott? Well, it looks like this will last straight through the weekend. Even going into early next week, our humidity will stick. And along with that, we'll have to watch for shower and thunderstorm chances. In the meantime, this morning, we have numbers that are in the 60s and low 70s. We're at 70 in Sioux Falls. 66 in Aberdeen, 64 in Pier. Winds are light and a forecast today showing temperatures in the 80s for afternoon highs. And Brian will have more details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. The city of Larchwood is celebrating 150 years this weekend. They'll have a variety of activities happening over the next three days geared toward bringing family fun to visitors and community members. Well, I think with a smaller town, there's a tighter community. I think it's a, it's a lot easier to uh, uh, celebrate, you know, when you know, you basically know everybody, you know, so that helps a lot, I think. They'll have a street dance, car show, food, and more. The event runs through Sunday. The actor who played Darth Vader in the Star Wars movie Rogue One didn't have to unsheath his lightsaber to gain access to the Great Plains Zoo Thursday. Welsh actor Spencer Wilding, who stands an imposing six foot eight, was a guest of the zoo and was even invited to feed one of the black rhinos. This is Wilding's first visit to South Dakota and says he appreciates our hot, humid summers. Yeah, the, the people that treat me like family, it's, it's, it's great to be brought in as well and uh, I'm loving your weather because I'm from North Wales in the UK so there's a lot of rain and wind, we don't get much sunshine. Wilding was also a professional kickboxer, he'll be among the celebrities appearing at Saturday's Voices Against Cancer fundraiser at the Washington Pavilion from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. A strange looking rabbit has been spotted in an east side neighborhood in Sioux Falls. The cottontail has growths coming out of its face. Game Fish and Parks biologist tells Kettleland News they see something like this every five to six years. The deformity is caused by a virus specific to cottontail rabbits. The papillomavirus is spread by ticks and mosquitoes. 
So it's not a it's not a d disease we'd have to worry about getting spread from uh, say a rabbit to a dog or a cat, but it could get spread, you know, from a wild rabbit to a domestic rabbit if someone has a, a rabbit pet. And so yeah, that's something something to be aware of. Delger says this rabbit will likely die of natural causes unless the deformity limits its ability to eat or makes it more vulnerable to predators. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather as we look into the weekend, it's going to turn hotter, it's going to be humid. We will have some storms around Sunday night. Now, we're still watching to see how that unpacks. The Storm Prediction Center has the biggest chance of that. North of Sioux Falls, extending into much of Minnesota, eastern South Dakota, southeastern North Dakota. As we've been talking about, this cold front's going to plow into this heat and humidity, but the question remains this cap or this lid on the atmosphere is still pretty strong, but we have copious amounts of energy available. And also the jet stream is going to be playing a role in this too. So you've got some pretty toxic uh, ingredients here that we're going to have to watch and see how that comes together. In the short term today, there's a couple of cells here still east of Sioux Falls to watch today. I think also along that stationary boundary near Rapid City, there might be a couple of thunderstorms. Tomorrow, by and large, is dry. South winds will take over. Most of your big storms tomorrow night, Saturday night that is, will be in North Dakota, but then eventually that frontal boundary will sink south and then again we'll see how much activity develops along the front. Also keep in mind on uh, Monday morning we're not done with the humidity and that's why we see some additional rain chances here and uh, that's important because uh, we'll be looking at probably some drier weather thereafter moving into next week. It also looks less humid. Highs today 86 degrees in Mitchell, 85 in Huron. Your seven day forecast 96 on Sunday and then we drop to uh, 87 Monday. Again, those chances of rain will be around at least through Monday. Beyond that, Aberdeen, I think also cooler weather next week, building in Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Not necessarily the air temperature a lot cooler, but the drop in the humidity. That's the number one thing you'll notice. I do expect there is a chance of rain here going into Sunday night, Monday into Pier. You saw that on Futurecast and that also includes Rapid City. And at that time, though, this mercury will drop quite a bit, so at least we get a break on the heat with the lower to middle 80s Monday and Tuesday. Find out the complete forecast online at kelloland.com.